Yeah, that's right. Where's the guys in the spacesuits? Where's the guys? Are you still pissed at me? Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. But what the hell is going on? What is this, like, Great Journey that they're doing? I don't know, but Chris Haversam is delusional. He thinks he's a ghoul. So the uh, Great Journey is going to use those rockets? Is that why they're wearing all the funny, like, <laughs> cosplay suits? <laughs> Obviously. It's taken months. Yeah. But well, really those costumes do take a lot of work. They so really do. Yeah, you got to give props to beyond. people who make those costumes I was for the cons. First, of course. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Chris Haversam. Two components were missing. Oh, Christ. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent. I don't need to do this, do I? a set of thrust control modules. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters okay. should be enough. I don't know what liters are. <laughs> for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold oh the great wow journey. god i'm getting so excited right clean. now i can't believe how fucking hard i'm getting busy. let's talk about chris he has a problem after all that you have done for us <laughs> i suppose you deserve to know everything yes when chris came to us uh -huh. we tried to convince him that he was human oh but this only angered him okay he seemed he seemed lost retarded i didn't think that as a ghoul i could feel so good us. anymore but Chris made us all feel wonderful. He designed vibrating ghoul dildos that didn't wreck our anus holes. Holy shit, dude. Why don't you write a fucking book? Wait a minute, you're gonna leave Chris behind? That's kind of funny. Such is the creator's will. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from I take a lot of pleasure in you doing that. Don't worry, I'll take all your pleasure for you. I can't wait to see this rocket take off. I hope it explodes. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. Yes, Regis, bless you too. You might want to get some hey. new pants. Especially if you're going into the great beyond. Yeah. They have a very strict dress code there. You're going to want to look at, hey, stop talking to her. Don't fucking talk to her. All right, I guess we have to get some hey bullshit or oh, something. Oh, dude, there's a space helmet. I saw, I saw a space helmet. Where, 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 where? Behind you. Over there. See? Oh. oh. Yay. Bam. And a space suit. Whoa, no way. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so going to Dragon Con. <laughs> Willow, check this shit out, Willow. Look at me. <laughs> Isn't this hilarious? I look like one of those nerds. Hey, Ghoul, have you ever seen any rocket fuel around here? Whoa. I'll take that as a no, I haven't. Why don't you do right? Willow? Like some of the men do. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Oh. Sorry, I'm singing again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you are. Do you still have Chester, my teddy bear? What? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? You know these people? <laughs> What's happening? Well, okay, wait a second. We just like randomly ran into the big guy? What's up, man? Holy shit, it's JT. Okay, this doesn't seem like a coincidence, Willow. What's going on here? Hello? Yeah. What is it? Well, okay, first of all, I hear you're looking for a man named Jefferson. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow, he's not very talkative, is he? Willow and I are traveling together, and we, like, randomly ran into you to see if you have her teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you have it? Sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was easy. I find this guy actually kind of attractive. I, I do, too. I like him. Uh, do you know that girl Jessica, the bright follower, the one that uh, waits to see you every day? Sure. She's, like, in love with you and wants to, like, have your ghoul babies, even though that's impossible because her all of her outside bits have fallen off and so have yours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you accepted that you have no dick. Um, but are you going to take her when you go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're my favorite guy ever. You are the best guy. They should call you the best guy. I suppose. I'd rather have you as my companion than Willow, honestly. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> See you later, I guess. Bye. Okay. <laughs> wow. 
Welcome to the Fallout Arena. Tonight it's Zach Eukers versus Paul Atkins, the ghoul with an attitude. They're going to be facing off against some xenomorphs. Let the match begin. Not surprisingly, Zach takes the flamer immediately and starts burning the xenomorph alive. They both have to watch out from the alien's caustic blood, which can melt through even the toughest power armor. Indeed it can. Paul, getting a little too close for comfort there. Zach is just laying into them with that flamethrower. That was an excellent choice for tonight's match. Kind of hard to believe a xenomorph is in the arena, especially if you're Ripley. You can believe it or not. H.R. Geiger would be proud. Paul Atkins is looking pretty sexy for a ghoul right here, but I don't think that's going to help him when he's on fire. Nothing like the smell of burning ghoul in the morning, right, Aaron? Looks like Paul's going to be able to make a comeback. He's getting a lot of good punches in. Oh, and Zach sends Paul into the stratosphere. Bad break for Paul Atkins. Congratulations to Zach Eukers, the winner of tonight's arena. If you'd like to enter into the Fallout New Vegas Arena, go to subbable.com slash Game Society Pimps and design your own character to fight. Get yourself a kick-ass poster, a one-of-a-kind Game Society Pimps Nintendo cartridge, and a host of other things. Okay, what the hell are we doing? We're refining atomic fuel for the rockets to send the ghouls to space! Oh, how wonderful. Fap P. Underboob! In space! Boing, 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 boing. Sha, 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 sha. Loing, 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 loing. <laughs> groin, 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 groin. <laughs> vagina, 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 vagina. That's a weird part of space that we entered. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> You're going the right way. Da, na, 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 na. To find the rocket fuel. Da, na, 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 na. You're going to get that rocket fuel. So you can blast all those stupid ghouls. Into space. Da -na 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 -da -na -na -na. Hey now, what's this all going on here? Ooh, igniting agent. Cool. Mr. Radical's journal. Cool. Wait, isn't isn't that what you needed? That uh, didn't he have the fuel you needed? Oh yeah, he did, didn't he? So you could just turn around and go home. You well, no, to... because I got to go over here and bash some fucking geckos into of the course, ground. Of course, of course. Yeah, Whoa. come on. Hey, didn't that gecko used to have a head? <laughs> uh, Oh, my oh. face! You, it's gone! Oh, my head is gone! Good job, Willow! Ouch, you shot me! You You're dumbass! <laughs> oh, your head is so crippled and your hit points are so low! Now my head is crippled because Willow killed me! Uh, in future, it might be best if you don't shoot me and almost kill me. Okay? A little advice. Okay, yeah, that was weird. Hey, guess what? I'm back! Still think you're a dumbass ghoul? Have you found the components we discussed? Yeah, he does. Sure did, idiot. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Oh, well, there's no way you can control my thrust, my friend. Ho, 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 ho. Why did I have to come down here and give you this shit and then get told to go back out and find some more shit? Why couldn't I have just gone and got the other shit first, Willow? Holy shit, you look weird in this light. You look like an albino at an EDM concert. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Willow, I guess we're going back outside again to go get some more crap for these dumb people. Ghouls. They're not people, they're ghouls. Dumb not people. Hey, old lady Gibson, how's your son doing with his guitar business, Dort? Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Do you have any thrust control modules for Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust, thrust modules, modules. But they're expensive. 500 caps. Okay, for... <gasps> come on. What? All right, well, I guess got 500 caps from you for all the stuff I sold. Pleasure doing business with oh, you. Oh, speaking of pleasure, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You look like a heavy metal grandma. Are you down for some sickness? Well, a sweet little young man like you can always make a few extra caps by letting me shove a big dildo in your ass. No, no, no! Uh, no! no! Grandma no! rape! No, Grandma no! rape! No! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my God! Is there a dog involved in this? What's going on? Why? Why can't I see? Oh my God! What happened? Willow! Willow, why don't you ever stop these things? It's getting really dangerous asking people for sex, man. I think you should stop. I really think so. It's, uh, it, the wasteland is not a friendly place for just casual, loving copulation. Everybody's into begging. They, it's really... It's kind of disturbing. Uh, oh, my oh. God. No. Ew. No. What'd you, who took my clothes off? Wow. I bet she took them off with her gummy, toothless... Mouth. Thanks. Thanks for making it seem five times worse. She probably hobbled over to you on her little four-pronged cane cart, or okay, whatever the hell they're yeah. called. Uh-huh. 
A, a wheelchair? No, like one of those canes that's got like four legs and a walker. A walker. A cane <laughs> cart. No, they're called a cane cart. A four pronged cane cart. Yes, a four pronged cane cart. That's what they call them in the apocalypse. <laughs> hey, it's Fred Durst. How's it going? She hasn't paid me anything yet. Should I be worried? Uh, yeah, you should be. And also, when you're talking to her, if she offers to, you know, have a little casual fun times with you, don't take it. No, she'll don't. bend you over and take you for all your worth, just like the music industry did. Doesn't matter how big your thing is, man. One day your biscuit's gonna go limp. Well, a sweet little young man like yourself can always make a few extra caps by letting me massage your sphincter with a sausage. Okay, it's just getting worse. <laughs> it's getting much worse. Why don't you just let me take a little trip down your canal, if you know what I mean? I don't. Have you found the components we discussed? Yeah, I had to get sexually assaulted by an old woman. Indeed you did. <laughs> and they seem to be in excellent condition. <laughs> Do you have a rocket launcher? You mm -hmm. can shoot a rocket at the rocket while it's launching. It's like, hey ghouls, I heard you like rockets. So I put a rocket <laughs> in your rocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. It was like three years ago. Oh, there's a window! 